you may say to me, Uncle Kev, you know, I know what you are saying, but still, God needs to give me what I want, when I want it, right now, right now. You really need to stop being the way you are. You will have a very difficult time in God being impatient. Let's go to Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So, let us continue to do what is right, even when we may feel like it is doing no good, even if we think we don't see good coming from it. For in due season, what does that mean? I believe a principle of that, a time. So continue doing what is right and there will be a time where you will reap from that. So if there will be a time where you will reap, what does that mean? That means you have to wait. That means you have to be patient. Continue doing what is right. Continue doing what is good. And be patient. Wait. Why? Because you will reap based upon what you have been doing, the good that you have been doing. I believe much of the problems we go through, I think a lot of them, I believe a lot of them can be solved. Yes, by doing what is right, but also by waiting. Learn to wait. Learn to be patient. And in, in a sense, keep your head down and wait. Yes, bad things are happening. Yes, people are accusing you falsely. Yes, people are lying on you, trying to get you fired, trying to do all these bad things to you. Continue doing what is right and wait. Sometimes you may not receive what you want when you want it. Sometimes you may not get exactly what you want. Sometimes we don't know what is good for us. Sometimes, for some of us, I guess, we may ask God for something that may do us so much harm. So if, if I am a good parent, and if I truly love you, will I give you what will harm you? Will I give you something that is going to make you worse, that will bring you pain and sorrow? Like, let's say you are asking for it, will I bring it to you? I don't think so, right? Here we go. Let's go to James chapter 1, verses 2 through 3. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall in diverse temptations. Why is that? Verse 3, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Are you seeing something? Aren't you seeing like a theme here? Patience, 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 patience. 
it looks like God really likes patience. While we on while we are on earth, I believe we have to become more like Jesus Christ. I believe one of the ways we can become more like Jesus Christ is by being tested with issues, with problems. How can I become more patient if my patience isn't tested? Okay. If God is giving me everything I want when I want it, if I am not having any demonic attacks, demonic dreams and stuff, if everything is going my way, how can my patience grow? Okay. Let's say I want to go to a country that primarily speaks Spanish. Okay. If I don't practice Spanish, if I don't speak to people that speak Spanish to help me to learn Spanish, if I don't practice Spanish or look at Spanish words or try to uh, involve myself with Spanish, how will I speak Spanish? How will I become better at speaking Spanish? If everyone is speaking English to me every day, I am not looking at Spanish teaching videos. How can I say I want to learn Spanish when I am not really being tested. I am not really being, I'm not really involving myself with, are you understanding what I am trying to say to you? You may not like problems. <laughs> I don't like problems. But I believe to get to where God wants us to be, I believe in many times, or should I say in many ways, we need to be tested. So yes, you may be going through a tough time. Many bad things may be happening to you. Your mom may cuss you out. Your dad may not take you seriously. He may neglect you and abandon you. Your cousins may lie on you and steal from you and do other bad things from you. Continue doing what is right. And wait. Be patient. Let's go to Romans chapter 12, I believe. Verses 17 through 19. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. 18. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves but rather give place unto wrath. Why? Why? For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. So what is that saying? Yes, you are having problems with people. They are giving you a hard time. But continue doing what is right. Continue treating people well. I see what they are doing. But all you have to do is what? Wait. Why? 
Because if you wait, if you continue to do what is right, what does it say? Vengeance is mine, I will repay. It does not say when. Right? Let's go back to verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay him tomorrow. It does not say that. I will repay him in one year. It does not say that. I will repay him when you want me to repay him at the exact time. It does not say that. It says, I will repay, saith the Lord. So it does not give a time frame, right? So what I am saying to you, continue to do what is right, even when it hurts. Continue to do what is right, even if you think it is unfair. Continue to do what is right and wait. Wait on God. And I believe things will turn out in your favor. Yes, bad things may come to you. You may lose some things. You may be mistreated. But in the end, you will win. God bless us.